Time to plan for Plan S. This is Roger Watson, the Editor-in-Chief of Nursing Open, and this is an editorial I published with Mark Hayter, one of the editors of the Journal of Advanced Nursing, on the 15th of March 2019. Heard of Plan S? Well, you will. Plan S arose from the work of an international group called Coalition S. Their aim is to have all published research available, open access, immediately on publication. The Coalition has some powerful membership organisations, mainly across Europe, but in some other countries too. Coverage is not yet universal, and some key organisations have not yet signed up. However, the Coalition has one powerful financial backer in the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and, given the widespread and sometimes misplaced enthusiasm for open access, this is likely to gather momentum. On the face of it, Plan S seems entirely laudable and altruistic. However, it raises a number of issues for both researchers and publishers. For researchers, researchers will have to obtain funding to publish open access if their funding body is a member of Coalition S. Open access is not cheap, with some journals charging several thousand pounds in APCs, or article processing charges. Few individuals will be prepared to pay from their own pockets, or to have funding available for this. Only a few universities will have funding to spare, although more will have subscriptions to PLOS One, Public Library of Science and BMC, Biomed Central, whereby their staff may submit without the need to pay an APC to journals published by these two major open access publishing houses. An alternative source of funding is via the research funding bodies if they decide to make such funding available, and it seems likely that they will. But these are publicly funded bodies who will either require more money from their governments to accommodate this, or will have to divert resources from research discovery funding to open access funding. Either way, this has consequences for those who ultimately fund such research, the general taxpaying public, who will either, without consultation, have a deficit in research, a deficit in other government-funded amenities, or an increase in tax. Open access, but hardly democracy. For publishers, one premise of Plan S is that researchers may no longer publish in hybrid journals, those that pre-existed open access publishing, which perpetuate the pay-to-view model, but which now offer an open access option by APC. This leaves very few reputable journals per se, where researchers may publish. But if they want to publish in reputable journals that are also Clarivate listed, with an impact factor, then the field becomes very narrow. The consequences for publishers vary from carrying on regardless and continuing to publish articles not emanating from research funded by Coalition S organisations to going out of business. However, in between there are options such as moving hybrid journals to being completely open access and developing more open access journals. Apart from the danger to publishers and some well-established journals, there's a danger that the insistence on open access publishing will create further opportunities for low-quality and predatory open access publishers. There are at least 10,000 verified predatory journals, and the distinction between those which are genuine predators and those which are merely low-quality, both options being undesirable to reputable researchers, is very blurred. Nevertheless, the temptation to publish in low-quality and predatory publishers may be too great for some researchers and, currently, despite calls for action, there remains no open access list of journals considered to be either reputable or predatory. Geoffrey Beale did his best, but he was working alone and eventually silenced by his employers. Since then, Cabell's International provides a list, but it costs tens of thousands of dollars to gain access. Aside from the dangers, there are also opportunities. There are a growing number of legitimate open access journals from all the major publishing houses, and these may see an increase in submissions with a concomitant increase in income. This may save the publishers from financial peril. However, if Coalition S grows and becomes more influential, it's conceivable that they will try to drive down the cost of open access publishing, specifically through lower APCs. This will not be good for publishers. Their profits are described frequently as being excessive, without a definition of excessive being offered. But all the major publishing houses manage journals that make no profit, and this is enabled by the fact that they run a small number of very profitable journals. Publishers are not charities. They are businesses, but Coalition S and others in the academic community who make calls for greater open access need to realise that they may no longer. Publishers are not charities. They are businesses but Coalition S and others in the academic community 
who make calls for greater open access need to realise that they may no longer have the luxury of such a wide range of reputable journals in which to publish. Another open access option exists, and that is Diamond Open Access. Currently, very few journals operate this model. One of these is the Wiki Journal of Medicine. This journal and others in the Wikiversity suite are funded by the Wikimedia Foundation, which also funds Wikipedia, and this is essentially crowdfunded. As such, it's an attractive model, but once you become involved in submitting to and editing one of these journals, you realise what the major publishing houses have to offer. The main thing they offer is online journal managing platforms and full-time staff to support editorial teams. But it's possible that this model could see an injection of cash from some philanthropist to support open access. So finally, Coalition S. Well, of course, Coalition S might attenuate its plans, and it will be another case of plus a change. Whatever Plan S achieves for Coalition S in terms of increasing open access and forcing the hands of publishers, they should recognise how we got where we are, with a plethora of reputable journals in which to publish and Rolls-Royce journal managing systems. This was not funded by open access, and unless open access delivers income to the publishers, we endanger these systems. This podcast was produced in association with youpublicationslimited.com. Do 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 do